Hey guys, again, more equations, this time with grouping symbols. What do we do here? We have 4, open bracket, x plus 3, close bracket, equals to 24. How do we solve an equation like that? It's easy. What do we do first? We actually expand. We expand first. How do we expand? We learn in algebra, 4 times the x, 4 times the positive 3. We know between the 4 and the bracket, is a invisible multiplication sign. So 4 times x, 4 times 3 is 12 equals to 24. We have our normal equation. Now, simple. What do we do? We have 4x plus 12 equals to 24. We want to work out x. We have to get rid of the 12. We have to get rid of the 4. Which one do we get rid of first? We start with the furthest one away from x. It's the 12. Minus 12 on one side, minus 12 on the other side. 4x is left because 12 take away 12 is gone. 24 take away 12 is 12. 4x equals to 12. Now we divide by 4 and we divide by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1, so 1x. And 12 divided by 4 is 3. Our answer is x equals to 3. We can try to see if it's correct. We substitute. x is 3. We know that is going to be 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 times 4 is 24. So yes, it works. Easy. We need to expand right at the start. Another one. 6, open bracket, y minus 2, close bracket, equals to minus 18. As soon as you see that, you know straight away, I'm going to expand. Let's expand first. 6y minus 6 times negative 2 is negative 12, equals to negative 18. So 6y minus 12 equals to negative 18. What do we do now? Our simple equation. We know we are going to get rid of the negative 12 first. So we add 12 and we add 12 on the other side. So we're left with 6y. Negative 12 plus 12 is gone. Negative 18 plus 12 is negative 6. So 6y equals to negative 6. We haven't finished yet. We would like to know only y. So 6y is 6 times y. So we divide by 6 and divide by 6 here as well. 6 divided by 6, we're left with 1y, and negative 6 divided by 6 is negative 1. So our answer is y equals to negative 1. So first, what do we do? We actually expand. When we see the brackets, the grouping symbols, we expand first, and then we complete our equation as normal. Some more equations. Four, Open bracket, x plus 2, close bracket, equals 5, open bracket, x minus 2, close bracket. We have here grouping symbols on both sides. So again, what do we do first? We expand. 4 times x and 4 times positive 2. So we have 4x plus 4 times 2 is 8. Now we're going to expand the second one as well. 5 times x and 5 times negative 2. So we have 5x, 5 times negative 2. Very important that you can see the negative and you identify it's going to be a negative answer. 5 times negative 2, negative 10. 4x plus 8 equals 5x minus 10. What do you notice? This is an equation with pronumerals on both sides. So what do we do? We have to get rid of the pronumerals on this side, so we can keep the pronumerals on the left all the time. So, 5x minus 5x minus 5x on this side too. So we're going to have 5x take away 5x is gone. We're left with negative 10. And 4x minus 5x is negative 1x, so negative x plus 8. So negative x plus 8 equals to negative 10. Now we go and we follow on. We know plus 8 is going to be minus 8 here, minus 8 on the other side. 
we're left with negative x equals negative 10 minus 8 is minus 18. Negative x equals to minus 18. What do we do now? We know we're trying to work out x. We're finding the perennial x. This is negative x. The trick is we have a negative on this side and negative on this side. What do we do? We cancel them out. They cancel each other out. So the answer is x equals to 18. That's our answer. Looks long, but with practice, you become a pro. Very important. We are expanding. We are expanding. And then we follow our equations as normal. Let's do our last one. A long one here. 2, open bracket, b minus 5, close the bracket, plus 4, open bracket, 2b plus 3, close bracket, equals to 22. So now, what do we do? When we see the brackets, the grouping symbols, we are going to expand first. 2 times b, 2 times negative 5, and positive 4 times 2b, positive 4 times 3. So the 2 times everything inside these brackets, and the positive 4 times everything inside these brackets equals to 22. Let's expand. 2b, 2 times negative 5 is negative 10, plus 4 times 2b is positive 8b, and 4 times 3 is positive 12, equals to 22. What do we do next? Very important, we can identify here that we are going to collect like terms. We're going to add or subtract the like terms. 2b plus 8b. That negative belongs to the 10. So 2b plus 8b is 10b. Now, negative 10 has another like term. There it is. Negative 10 plus 12. You notice here, we're not saying 10 plus 12. We're saying negative 10 plus 12. I've seen too many students, they stuff up. Why? Because they say 10 plus plus 12. No, it's negative 10 plus 12. It's a total different answer. So negative 10 plus 12 is positive 2 equals to 22. Very easy to make mistakes in these little simple processes here. So it's very important that you pay attention and you be careful. 10b plus 2 equals to 22. Now what? Well, it's an equation. 10b plus 2 we basically minus 2 from one side, minus 2 from the other side. 10b, because 2 take away 2 is gone. 22 take away 2 is 20. 10b equals to 20. Now 10b is 10 times b, so times the opposite is divide. 10b divided by 10. 10 divided by 10 is 1, 1b. And 20 divided by 10 is simply 2. Our answer is b equals to 2. Very easy. It seems long. It seems complicated. But we go step by step. We follow each process. We concentrate. As I always say, zoom in, check your work, and you'll always get the right answer. Don't rush or else you will make mistakes. So remember, take it easy, concentrate, expand, and follow the process. You'll get your answer straight away. Thank <laughs> you.